And that's why I'm sure this is all just a big misunderstanding. You're right, Marinette. There is a misunderstanding. You see this pancake? It's your future. If it's not big enough for you, I can make mm. it just the way you like. Simply tell me what you want. Double pancake? Triple pancake? With jam, maple syrup, bananas? All you have to do is ask, and you'll have everything you wish for. You know, I remember the hat you created for Adrian. You're talented. And with my support, the daughter of the local bakers could become the world's greatest designer. The perfect mm. pancake awaits you. The only thing you won't be able to do with that pancake is share it with Adrian. Uh. And to prove my point, do you see him in this kitchen? No, he's not with you. And he never will be. Because Adrian has a destiny, and that destiny does not include sharing pancakes with you. But, no, that can't be. Adrian and I are in love and- I don't think you understand, child. So let me put things differently. Life is like fashion. You think you have a choice, but all you have is the illusion of choice. And I decide what choices are given to you. You're wrong. Fashion is about listening to people. It's about understanding who they are, what excites them, and creating the clothes that will help them express their inner world, help them connect with others, and make their dreams come true. <laughs> no, that's not fashion. That's making dresses for your dolls. Fashion is a product, a marketing strategy. An industry that relies on an uninterrupted trend renewal that forces you to either throw away everything you have and buy more, or worse, to be out of fashion. Thanks to the clothes I create, the celebrities who wear them, the advertisements I design, and the alliance rings that broadcast them, I create an idyllic vision, a perfection that everyone aspires to achieve while keeping it just out of their grasp. You finally understand the difference, don't you? You listen to people's desires and create what they want. Somehow, people make you. Whereas I create people's desires. They buy what I decide they'll buy. They think what I want them to think. I'm the one who makes people. You think you love Adrian? But you're just under the spell of this world I've created. A world where Adrian is a star, shining high above. A world where you're just a part of the crowd below looking up at him. That is why nothing can ever happen between you two. The only choice I'm offering you is this. Either you eat this pancake and have everything except Adrian, or you refuse the pancake and you'll have nothing except your childish dreams. So will you take the pancake with syrup or jam? I recommend jam. It's clementine. Slightly bitter, but really delicious. I think I lost my appetite. No! I forbid you! I made it! I love you, Adrian! I won't abandon you ever! Go get her! Now! I'll always be there for you. You know what the problem is with your pancakes? Way too much flour. Not enough butter. You're using an old, completely outdated recipe. No one likes them like that anymore. And that's the good thing about being a baker's daughter. I don't even need to try them to know that they're tasteless. 